everyone welcome to my channel I'm this is gonna be another update video um, I am going to be reading again from like I wrote everything out ahead of time so that I didn't forget about what I wanted to talk about so if I'm not making a lot like looking at the camera a lot that's why um, this is gonna be an update video I'm also gonna be talking about a few things that are not updates First of all, I want to give a shout out to a wonderful man that I've had the pleasure of speaking to lately. His name is Axel Peter Axelsson. He's a well-known conspiracy theorist here in Iceland. And he has his own um, live radio podcast show called Frelsi TV. I'm going to make sure to link his info down below the video so that you can go check him out. Make sure you subscribe to him because he discusses many controversial subjects that you can educate yourself about. Okay, so I did my very first live radio interview over the phone yesterday with him. It was a wonderful opportunity um, that he gave to me and I am also going to be linking that interview down below so that you can listen for yourself. He speaks some Icelandic in it for his fellow listeners, but the interview is in English. Before I move on to the next uh, thing I want to talk about, um, I want to take some time once again to say uh, thank you, Axel, for giving me the opportunity to put my situation out there and get the word out further for everyone to hear. The next thing I want to talk about is the fact that my mother has been here for a few days now. My heart is full of joy and sadness about it. She had never traveled outside of the U.S. in her life before two days ago. She also had never flown on an airplane. God brought her to me safely, but I know that her journey was not easy. She came to support us and make a stand with us. She has never yet had the opportunity to even meet our son, who is 18 months old. And she has not seen our daughter, who is going to be four years old, since she was the same age as our son is now. She is here and cannot even greet her grandchildren, who, brought her, who she brought gifts for, and hug and kiss them. It is very heartbreaking. But she is here, which is amazing. And we are trying our best as a family unity to make the best out of the situation and brainstorm together about what the next steps we will take are going to be. The next subject that I want to talk about are my children. I am currently very concerned for their safety. The last visit I was allowed to have with them was exactly seven days ago. Child Protective Services are trying to break our parental bond that we share with them. My daughter talked a lot to me the last time that I was with them, and they have not allowed me to see them since then. I am afraid that they have done something to them and are cutting off our visits with them to hide whatever it is that they have done. They are not safe, and I must stress this diligently, that my children are not safe as long as they are with these people. There was a family meeting on Thursday, July 9th. We had to go with our attorney and talk to the same monsters who violently and forcefully ripped our children out of our home and psychologically damaged them. They decided at this meeting, which is not through a court and has no real legal jurisdiction, that they want to keep my children for the next six months until the middle of January 2016. I found out that it is yet another law that they broke because legally they can only say two months without a court hearing. The children's advocate spoke at the meeting and said that she feels it is in the best interest of the children to have very regular visits with me and my husband, but they are ignoring the advice of the person who speaks for the children, which in turn is breaking the children's rights. I need to see my babies to know that they are okay. I want to take the time now to talk about the people who are starting to reach out to me and tell me about their unfortunate situations with the Child Protective Services, not only in Iceland, but also in America. 
It is very brave of all of you to reach out to me like you did. I know that these are very painful and delicate things you are talking with me about. My heart goes out to you and your families. I know that your government that is sworn to protect you has failed to do so and that you are all terrified to speak out for your families. This is happening all over the world and we must always remember during these times that we need to be band together and form a unity. United we stand but separated we fall. We cannot look at other people and judge them for dealing with the pain of their situations in different ways than what you may think is right. When we start doing things like this, it makes us no better than the entity we are fighting. Always try your best to show kindness and compassion for other struggling parents, whether they are single or a family unity. If you see someone struggling, ask them if there is anything you can do to help them. This is the proper Christian thing to do. We have been trying to do things to keep our mind from things over the weekend with my mother. We have went on the bus many places to try to show her the beauty of Iceland, but everywhere I go and everything I do becomes heartbreaking because I am always wishing that my babies were with us. My attorney is on a summer holiday, but there is a lady who is helping me while he is away. I am hoping to hear something about visits with our children sometime tomorrow. I'm going to wrap up my video now so that it doesn't become too long. I want to end this by saying that the system is raping fellow human beings of their human rights. If you see these things happening, please reach out to the victims and do what you can to help them. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of these crimes, please put them in contact with me. I will link my contact information below for anyone to reach me. God bless you and thank you for your support.